The UDA is reaction to breaking the so-called ceasefire is that the ceasefire never ever existed except in Mr. Whitelaw's imagination. It was simply a period to regroup and restructure for a renewed onslaught. As for Mr. Whitelaw's comment regarding his talks with the provost, stating that he would take any honourable course to achieve peace. If talking to murderers and bombers is honourable, then God help Ulster. But Mr. Paul Whitelaw's policy certainly won't. The IRA's political moves have clearly failed and they are embarking upon a scorched earth policy as this is the only policy the IRA understands. But make no mistake, they will fail here also and the UDA will do all that is in their power to defeat the IRA and return Northern Ireland back into a lawful country. What do you think Britain should do now in Northern Ireland? We think Britain should do as it should have done three years ago, embark upon a, upon a campaign to defeat, utterly defeat the IRA. Well, are you in effect saying that peace can only come to Northern Ireland when either you, the UDA, or the IRA are completely destroyed? Well, so we don't look upon ourselves in a, in a similar fashion as the IRA. We look upon UDA as being the people of Northern Ireland, and therefore the people of Northern Ireland cannot defeat it.